Um, and then we've just got some other projects with Stages Video that we're, I mean, we are physically slammed with Stages Video <laughs> for January. And here's the deal. It's like the rehearsal schedule is Sunday night through Friday night, wow. 7 o'clock to 10.30. That's insane, Chuck. Yeah, it I'm is. Chuck, we've got you here at uh, 7 a.m. on a Thursday morning. Well, like yeah. I said, it's, it's, if it was later in the month, I probably would have said no. Yeah. Um, but now, since it's the first week of the month, I'm like, right. okay, That's just great. 30 days from now, I'll, I'll just be dead. Absolutely. You know? well, and then you do the show, yeah. which runs for another month. So it's like, it is, it's a great experience. It's fun. It is very physically exhausting. Especially for us old timers, you know. Oh come on! You and Diana got more energy than anyone in this room, at least. I don't. Know. I, a, I don't know how y'all. Yeah, you've been married how long, Chuck? Twenty. Oh, put me on the spot. Nineteen eighty-four. Twenty-three years. Twenty-three years. Yes, yes, yes. Just coming into the twenty-fourth year this year, and obviously, it's tough to imagine even being in two thousand eight, Chuck. It's to to think about it. Doesn't it seem like it was Y two K just yesterday. It does. I mean, it seems like we're all worried about computers and things going awry. It's, it's almost an entire decade since that. It's amazing now. Time, Time flies. Flown. Yeah. Look at your little girl. You know? I know, and LeClaire's gotten so big. And, and of course, for, for y'all now, the trip over to Conway and performing there at the other public is a lot easier now than it probably was. Uh, getting over there, it's a lot easier. Oh, with, with the roads, yeah. Right. And, and, and for us, because we just, um, you know, living in Myrtle Beach, we just zip over uh, the Grissom Bridge mm -hmm. and uh, go back through to Carolina forest right. road oh, back there because right. we're doing it at night so the traffic's exactly. not bad <laughs> there's no traffic that's exactly, or much less traffic that's exactly yeah. right you know so much of obviously you mentioned stages video in the relationship with the chamber you all been doing a lot of work with the chamber over the years and continue to turn out to great stuff we've seen examples of that at event after event whether it's the annual meeting or other places where some of y'all's wares are, are shown off that's been a yeah great the pioneer of the year video the citizen of the year oh, video yeah. which uh, featured You've yours done. truly <laughs> uh, yours truly yeah no there, there's some great uh, dedicated volunteers and uh, and other folks that uh, that do a lot with the chamber but yeah. surely the uh, upcoming debates a week from today and then oh, on uh, the 21st on i mean that is just so so exciting for myrtle beach to be able to host I, 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 just one of them. Yeah, would yeah. Be incredible. If it was only one, it'd be unbelievable. You know, we got them both. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and to have them just right there, right, right, right up against the primary. I mean, that just right. brings such national attention to Myrtle Beach, um, and it's just uh, even for the residents and all the people volunteering to actually have the opportunity to be a part of that, to be a part of history. You know, and seeing you know, Myrtle Beach is on the map. It is very exciting to think about that. Yeah. Absolutely, Chuck. We've only got about five minutes. I'm amazed. That Already has blown by here. Tw almost 20 minutes blown by. You know, we've got uh, obviously waves of change here. There's a lot of other documentaries that you and uh, Diane have been working on over the years. I know we think of one, a special character from Lake City. Share yeah, with viewers about uh, about Ron McNair. Ron McNair. This was um, the first documentary that I produced, and I was actually was working for WBTW at okay. the time. Right. Um, and of course, you had the uh, you know the Challenger explosion, uh, wow. that horrendous event. And Dr. Ronald McNair was one of the the mission specialists yeah. on the Challenger, and he was a, a native of Lake City. Right. And uh, you know he was one of the first African American astronauts. Mm -hmm. um, so after the Challenger explosion, the station wanted to do a tribute to him since he was part of the the, the coverage area. Right. And so, you know, we went to Lake City, we did a lot of interviews, and, and, and the angle that I took on that was um, his, his childhood growing up wow. through his college years. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's where I ended it. And we had some wonderful materials. He had done a, a, you know, he had done a previous uh, Challenger trip. Mm. And after he came back from that, he was kind of the toast of the state, and he oh, actually yeah. uh, gave a speech before the General Assembly. Is that and I was able to get my hands on a copy of that. Um, and then with the interviews with people who knew him, wow. you know, uh, friends, family, sure. um, teachers, um, mm. we just were able to put together a very poignant, poignant uh, documentary on his life. And the amazing thing, there was a, a gentleman, and I, I should remember his name right now, it's slipping, slipping my mind, but he was a pharmacist in wow. Lake City, and he was also Jewish. Uh -huh. And um, Ronald McNair, as a little boy, used to love to come into his store. Mm. And because uh, he had magazines, you know, popular science and stuff like that, and right. and Ron would 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 read those magazines. And the proprietor of the store talked to him one time about it, and Ron said that he was not allowed to check out books from the public library. Mm. You know, so this would have been the times before segregation. Right. I mean, during segregation, before desegregation. So this pharmacist 
actually would go and check out books for him. No. We got an interview with him. He was down in Hollywood, South Carolina. I didn't even know we had a Hollywood, South right, Carolina, yeah, yeah. south of Charleston. And uh, so we just, you know, it was just amazing, you know, you look at his life, what he overcame, right. and, and, and to achieve the success that he did. You know, the irony, the, 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 the sad point is that his life was cut down. Right. You know, just at the, the peak of his career, but it was a, an, a very ma amazing project to work on. We don't get to do too many documentaries. Was that for BTW at the time? Or yes, was it was. It? Okay. Yep. Have they re-released that any time? Have they re-shown it? Or no, they have could not. We, uh, could I don't even. Out of a ball. I don't even think they have the master anymore. Uh. Um, I actually have, I think, the only copy available. Is that right? Yep. Wow. And there are a lot of... Uh, How long was it, Chuck? It was half hour, a little over half hour, I think about 40 minutes. Is that right? And wow. there are a lot of Ronald McNair um, programs, science programs, and colleges. Right. And clubs. Yeah. And they've contacted us through the years and for copies of that. Oh, I bet. And, and we make that available to them. How yeah. exciting, Chuck, to have been a part of that, to right back at the get-go. And of course, later you left WBTW and did you join, is it WPD? Uh, actually, WPDE came first. Okay, good. That's where I met yeah, Diane I in see. Florence. Okay, yeah. And when we got married, we moved to Myrtle Beach, and I helped open uh, WBTW's first studios in Myrtle Beach. And everybody thinks it's out there by the back gate. That was right. not the first. The first were actually rooms 101 and 102 at the Holiday Inn West. Oh, come on. For three months. No, I'm serious. And then they rented permanent facilities or, you know, annual facilities pretty much across the street from what was in the Waccamaw Complex, right. well, the Alabama Park. the Hard Rock theme park. Yeah. 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 yeah, and so I was with them for four years, and right after I left them to start Stages Video, that's when they opened that permanent studio at the back gate, which they've now torn down to build the really the nice three-story tall structure. Yeah, yeah It's fascinating. You know, when, when Diane was with us a couple months ago, she talked about, I believe the two of y'all, maybe it was just her working at... Was it Hillcrest Cemetery or <laughs> selling burial plots uh, for a while? Was uh, that just Diane? You bring that up. I wish I could say it was her. No, it was us. It was the two of and, um, yeah. Great but it, but early it's what, stages of marriage. It's yeah. what got us to the beach. Yeah. You know, um, the, the TV stuff, the, the Diane's talk show in, in Florence had been canceled. Right, right. And, they um, wanted her to move into news. They wanted her to yeah. do news. She didn't want to do it. Right. So she walked away from them. And we had always talked about moving to Myrtle Beach. I but, love you know, it. but she had a great job. Yeah. You know, I was just starting my career, so I was like, you know, my job's eh, no big deal. And uh, through, you know, through contacts, we had an opportunity to come in and, and work for the, for the Hillcrest family. And they are a wonderful family, and, and what the work they do is a, a great service the to this community. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't what we wanted to do for the rest of our lives. But it got us to Myrtle Beach yeah. and, co and carried us for about four months from October to January. Right. I started at Channel 13 in February, and Diane started doing... Uh, her show Southern, Southern Style. Style of March. And that was for Cox at the time. Yeah. Well, it was then Cox Cable, yeah. Which obviously, to think about that, a 23, almost oh, yeah, we come, we've come run. so far because when yeah. we moved here, there was no broadcast television. Right. And in, in Myrtle Beach, that's right. You had a, so the main Wilson, presence was uh, was people. Wilmington. Yeah. It was a part yeah. of the Wilmington market sure. that has now changed. It became you know Florence Myrtle Beach. It's now five. Myrtle Beach Florence. Right. It is. Um, and then 13 opened up the first full studio, then right. ABC Channel 15 came in and did it, and then we had uh, WGSE, which you know a little bit about, well, actually, the Christian it launched Station. In 84. Yeah. It launched in 84 there. I don't know if it was on Seaboard back then, but uh, obviously launched it at that time, as you said, it was the Wilmington. And that Myrtle was the, the only local station. station. Licensed, uh, to Myrtle Beach, right. the other three all licensed to Florence. Now there will be another one opening on August 8th. A big addition to think of the NBF, yeah, the NBC we've affiliate there. We've next come to full it. circle. It's amazing, Chuck. Me and your director, we could write the you story. You and Donald Smith could talk <laughs> quite TV a while, broadcast, or, or yeah. should and could do that. And of course, Donald and Diane, even those early stages there of uh, they of, work together, uh, kicking off the Southern style, which is yeah. amazing to think about. You know, as you think back on all the documentaries, Chuck, is it tough to categorize in your mind? A, I mean, they, some of them must meld together, but do any of them really stick out? Was it the Dr. Ron McNair piece? early on in your career or any of the others that really stick out? For well, you? I think for me that was probably the most emotional. Right. Um, right. Just because of the, 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 the tragedy that had happened. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the, the latest one is always the one you're most passionate right. about. Right. Um, but we were fortunate we did, you know, uh, in 19, I mean, 19, in 2004 we did the uh, documentary on the 50th anniversary of Hurricane Hazel. Oh, that's right. Which was yeah. uh, really an amazing project to work on when you could you know, look at these photographs and old movies of the devastation that was uh, brought to Myrtle Beach by Hazel. Right. Um, and of course, you know, that's, you know, every summer where that's always in the back of all of our minds, you know, the next storm that might oh, be forming yeah. out there. 
um, we uh, last year with the you know the, the closing the final season of, of the, the pavilion. of the pavilion mm. um, we were you know fortunate to be contracted by Burroughs and Chapin to produce yeah. the official documentary of the Myrtle Beach Pavilion uh, that was that was a lot of fun to work on uh, a tough one Why? to do oh yeah um, that's probably emotional as well Chuck yeah um, certainly because you know more emotional for other people right. since you know right. I didn't grow up in Myrtle Beach right. you know it was part of you know I'd go down there in the summer and stuff like that but for the people who you know the Dino Thompson's of the mm -hmm. world who you know that was their childhood right. um, how emotional it, it, that was for them mm -hmm. but to you know to be able to document that and right. you know, I know ETV did a, a documentary on on the pavilion ours was a little different theirs was more like a, you know they had about uh, a selection of people who talked about their memories, but that was kind of like the golden era of the pavilion, if you would say, the 50s and the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, our documentary spanned the entire lifetime from the early 1900s when it was just a rough, you know, round pavilion, um, and then all the way up through the through the closing of the current one. Mm. Uh, but this one was really uh, this new one, the story of Myrtle Beach, Waves of Change, was uh, uh, just a a great, you know, Diane and I have such a passion for Myrtle Beach. Right. You know, right. we love being here. Yeah. We love how we've seen it grow over the years, yeah. and to be able to to document that. And uh, you know, as of this moment, this is the definitive documentary on I the history it. of Myrtle Beach. I love it, Chuck. And you know, I know we got you in to talk about that. I think we talked more about Theater of the Republic, and I'm glad we did. That's good. Big night tonight. Thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, come out and see it. And not to mention, guys and dolls, bring in McClare. Oh, great! Chill I out. love it. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with the Waves of Change director and editor. Chuck Stokes, coming up next. Check out this cover, the tremendous cover. We ran out of time, couldn't get into it. Waves of Change, the story of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Obviously following almost a century of history. So much in here. You can get on over to Chapin Memorial Library to pick up a copy to benefit the library. Obviously the cost very reasonable and everything going to the Chapin Memorial Library. Take the time to get on by there. Give them a call to pop by. In addition, 488-0821. 488-0821, Broadway on Main, kicks off today, runs through the weekend, and then you heard Chuck talk about it. His tremendous position is Nathan Detroit with his wife playing her, uh, was it Adelaide position? Get out there, kicking off February 6th, 488-0821, Theater of the Republican, historic downtown Conway. Chuck Stokes.